Hey everyone, welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss how to load your type tool cursor to import multiple text files at once rather than doing them one at a time. This is a mistake that I used to make early on when I was using InDesign. I would click on a text frame, do command D or file place, put in one text file, go to the next text box. If you're working on a couple text boxes or text frames, that's not, that's not a big deal. But let's just say you're working on a document or a project that um, has anywhere between 10, 15, 20 text frames. There's other options if they were all flowing into the same text frame. But if you're doing each text frame with individual text files, you don't want to do this one at a time. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And then I'm going to show you a couple other tips and tricks to um, edit or globally edit your uh, paragraph styles so everything changes at once, as well as working in the story editor uh, format uh, for easy editing if you have overset text. Okay, so let's, let's get started. So I have here four pages in my document. They're all landscape um, document uh, or spreads here, pages. And um, let's just assume that they are different landing pages for my website, okay? Um, but this can pertain to any, any document, any document size. So what I'm going to do, as you can see here, I'm just gonna close that for a sec. I have set up, if I put my guides on, I have set up one, uh, four text boxes, one on each page. There's one, there's two, three, and four. And basically what these are going to be are little intros to the uh, image that I've highlighted here. Just a little description of um, what the room uh, contains. So it's basically a little nugget of information rather than a large body of text. So I have these set up in four different um, files and let's bring them in now, okay? So I, I don't necessarily want to click on any of the text frames. I don't have to. So I'm just going to click off on my pasteboard take my guides off. Click on your pasteboard so you're not, nothing is selected even though you can still see that your text frames are still there. Um, what I do is command D or go to file place. Command D works just as good. I have four uh, separate um, four separate documents here. Bath feature, kitchen feature, living feature one, and living feature two. I'm going to highlight all of them. Or what you could do is click on one and on a Mac, hold down the command key on a uh, PC, hold down control and then click the others. But highlighting them all works just as good. I'm going to hit open. So in a previous tutorial, I showed you something similar on how to import images, uh, multiple images at once rather than doing them one at a time. This is the same idea. It's the same, uh, the same idea applies to when you're importing text uh, files. So I'm going to hit open. And if you notice here, if you see my cursor, um, it's loaded with all four of those text files and ready to drop into those um, frames that I've created previously. So you can use your um, right or left arrow keys to toggle through. So they're in order of how you selected them, okay? So there's my first one. And basically all I'm gonna do is just click on my text frame. Now I can't see it, I know it's in this area. I can put my guides back on and then just click in there. Go down the second page. There's two, there's three, there's four. So that's a really efficient way of importing text files into different text frames. Um, all at once, multiple uh, files at the same time, rather than doing it individually, this will save you a lot of time. So as you can see here, it's it's not formatted to what I want. So I did create a little um, page intro paragraph style previously. If I highlight this, I'm gonna click my page intro. And you notice, um, I before I do that, I have to override this because it's not, formatting to the proper setting of my paragraph style so just click on basic paragraph while holding the option key you can override that that's what I had to do I had to override the formatting 
So now there's no plus sign here. If you see a plus sign next to basic paragraph, hold your option or alt on a PC and then click on basic paragraph. Now, if I click on page intro, that is exactly what I want. It's um, 14 point with 19 point letting Montserrat, Montserrat regular, okay? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna do a, just a paragraph return there, okay? So that now fits my box. I'm gonna go down the second one, second page, and do the same thing. See that little plus sign there? Hold down Alt, click to override. Now go ahead and click page intro. Now, the reason why these are fitting perfectly is because I've tested them beforehand. I fit them to what this specific box is. I'm going to edit them in a second to show you how to uh, um, work in the story editor format to bring things back up, okay? So that's, that's good. Let's go back to the third page now. Command A to highlight, hold down option, override, hit page in, intro. And we just have one more to do. Command A, override, page, intro. Okay, so if you notice, they're, they're all fitting, which is great, okay? So let's just say I'm done, right? I send this off to the client and let's just say, hey, the client doesn't like it. They want the text to be a little smaller or a little bigger, okay? Um, again, going in individually and then editing the point size, you could do that or you can do it all at once. So remember in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to globally edit paragraph styles. So if you notice all these now are under the page intro paragraph style, if I double click it, there's my page intro. If I go to my basic character formats, and let's just say, um, Let's just say the client or whoever you're working for says, let's make this a little bit bigger. So you could actually make it 15 point. And if you notice here, look in this instance here, make sure your preview button is, or your preview option is on so you can see the changes that you're making in real time. I just made that 15 point, so I increased the point size by one. And let's just say that that was it. You could increase the letting by one, two. So let's just do that, okay? So I've increased the point size by one, and I've increased the letting by one, and I'm going to change the font family, the style, to instead of regular, let's go light, okay? So I've I've increased the size of the point, the letting point, and I've uh, just made it one step lighter from regular to light. So you can see all the changes that were made there in real time. So I'm just gonna hit okay. Now that kind of screws things up for you, right? Because you had everything fitting and now you don't. So another common mistake or misstep that that um, new users to InDesign will do is if you see there, there's overset text, right? You want to edit this without manipulating the actual text frame. Because if you have these set, you obviously don't want to start pulling the box down or making it wider because then it's gonna throw everything else off, okay? So with your cursor set probably in the last paragraph, I mean, the easy fix to this is obviously just bringing the, the paragraph back up. But let's just say, oops, let's see. Let's just say I wanted to, let's go back to my first page there, okay. Let's go over here and let's just say I wanted to edit this without manipulating or maneuvering the text frame. I'm gonna put my guides back on, okay? Put your cursor in the final paragraph, go up to edit, and edit in story editor, editor, okay? This will give you, see this window here? Now I can edit my text without maneuvering the box. So if you're gonna edit some text to make it fit, the easy fix is I could easily just remove this last paragraph, and then I would just have a a widow or an orphan um, of the word look. So I would have to fit that last word into my box in this case. So I could do that. I could just delete that and then, you know, maybe bring something else up. Okay. Um, maybe do something like that. 
and then you can see that my my text now fits okay so that's working in story editor without having to mess around with the text frame at all because you don't want to start moving text frames um, especially if you have them set okay so that's just a little glimpse or a little tutorial on how to import text with multiple text files loading up your text uh, cursor globally editing a paragraph style in this case page intro and um, working in the story editor format those three things are, are pretty essential in um, when you're when you're working with type or bodies of text but get in the habit of inserting or importing multiple files text files at once rather than doing them individually once you do that you'll find that your workflow will improve and you'll start getting more comfortable in doing things like that okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial we'll talk to you soon and have a great day take care